Dear students, today I am going to introduce you to the second chapter of Flamingo Lost Spring Stories of Stolen Childhood by Anise Chang. Before I could tell you more about the story, I would like you to have a look at the following pictures. In the first picture, you could see small girls rolling beads. This is a regular scene of Murshidabad's beady rolling industry where small girls work day and night to earn a living for their families. So the idiom burning both ends fits perfectly here where these small girls work from morning till late at night to earn a living for their families, to earn some money for their families. The next you could see an infographics of child labor in our country. This consists of data collected at the last census that is 2011. It brings a shocking revelation that around 10 million children are engaged in labor at various places and constitute 13% of India's workforce. These children work at a carpet making industry, firecracker making industry, mining industry, cosmetic industries and also work as domestic health. In the next picture, you could see the causes of child labor. They are overpopulation, illiteracy, poverty, urbanization and there are many more which are responsible for stealing away the childhood of innocent children in India. I hope after looking at those pictures, you have got a fair idea about the context of the chapter. The writer has made a sincere effort to bring out the plight of the street children who are forced into labor early in their childhood and are not given the opportunity of schooling, of education. The writer has also brought out callous attitude of society towards the suffering of these children. 